So the partnership between Ericsson and Intel is quite unique around the HDS 8000. It extends from architecture alignment, technology innovation, joint engineering, as well as go to market. It, it's really special when two market leaders come together to not only build, but create many new market opportunities together. When you have the type of market leadership and when you have the type of value proposition that you can deliver to the market, like high levels of security, high levels of optimization, low latency transactions, high performance packet processing, all of those capabilities that Ericsson can bring to the customers, it extends from the network into the data center and also the cloud. One of the great things about the HDS 8000 is that it utilizes so much of the enabling technology that we've invested in, from our Xeon processors to our communications chipsets, from the SSDs for storage and our Ethernet technology, and our rack scale architecture. Being able to harness the power of that ingredient technology, build a level of programmability and intelligence on top of it, and deliver real, tangible, impactful commercial solutions to the market, we're just so excited about the HDS 8000. We can't wait to see how customers are starting to adopt and deploy it. I think Ericsson has a tremendous opportunity in ICT, and absolutely Ericsson not only will be, but today is a player in ICT.